All right, here's the little plant. This is actually the third milkweed I put in there. And you can see right here, those little white specks, a monarch butterfly eggs. And there's quite a few of them all over this plant. Underneath, on top, there's some here. Like this. And go around here, we can see more over here more they're all over this plant oh my gosh I have never had so many eggs I've tried this before in the years past but this this particular try is really fantastic so the next uh, part of this video diary we'll be we'll be watching these caterpillars as they grow and uh, I'll show you how I take care of them and how I sleeve them. I have some milkweed growing in the backyard, in, in the ground. So what I'm going to do is sleeve them on there first. I'll take them off of this plant once they get to a reasonable size and then sleeve them on the, uh, the plants growing in the ground. For the final stage, when they're ready to pupate, I will bring them back in the cage and put them on potted plants because that's the way it's easier for me to to track, uh, to guide them to where we want them to hang their pupa, which is on the top of the cage. In the sleeves, they'll be hanging on the side of the sleeve and they'll be all tangled up in a mess. So I, I like to do the final phase in the cage. And by the way, these cages here are showing all three sizes of the observation and rearing cages I've got from bioquip.com. These are all collapsible. Uh, and washable. So we got small, medium, and large, and there's one more size which is actually five feet tall. It's a walk-in cage, same, same as this uh, design, but a walk-in cage. Well, I haven't got to that level yet, but you know, perhaps I, I will, because these cages have been very, very uh, helpful and useful in, in my project, and they're not expensive. So this is a uh, a good thing, and I I'd like you to take note of this. Go to bioquip.com and look for rearing and observation cages. Buy yourself some of these cages, and uh, you'd be happy you did.